I'm going to be showing you guys three key Evelyn jungle routes to get you winning more games and to farm your jungle more efficiently in a wider variety of situations. The first one I'm showing you here is a five camp clear route into gank then scuttle crab. The beautiful thing about this route is you don't spend too much time on one side of the jungle since you're only taking two camps from the side that you're starting on. Make sure to get your ward down no later than the 55 second mark, recall, and get your oracle lens. Not having oracle lens makes it really hard to gink on Evelyn before you're level 6. If they have a jungler that can hop the Baron Wall or Dragon Wall depending on what side map you are on, make sure you lay it a little bit to the left of the bush, that way it can see both entrances. Certain junglers like Jarvan, Kidjurid, and Graves can hop over that wall and they can negate that pixel brush altogether, so laying your ward there will give you some pretty good insight. Also feel free to ask and ping your teammates where you'd like them to lay a ward or where you'd like them to keep watch. In this case, I want to gank my bot lane after the 5 camp clear out because my top lane is a gank plank, so it's going to be a waste of my time. So I start top and I'm going to clear towards my gank, skipping my gromp. Skipping gromp is really good to do in a 5 camp clear out because even if the enemy does invade this side, by them clearing gromp it will respawn back in and I can take it at a higher level. If they were to invade something like raptors or wolves, they could leave one wolf or one raptor and thus the camp won't respawn until I finish it, so I'll be getting a lot less golden XP that way. After taking your buff, if you go for your E, your clear out will speed up by roughly two to three seconds, but you will be losing more HP. Try to kite the camp around as best as you can, and pull it towards your next camp to speed up your clear out. Don't waste time autoing the little monsters in your first clear, your Q's AoE on its own should kill them. You can even Q things over the walls, and in this case, you want to angle it to try to hit the big raptor with your Q to maximize your damage. As long as you kite the camps around with your Qs, you shouldn't be taking too much damage. My health is still relatively high. If you do go for W at level 2, like we talked about, your clear route will be roughly 2-3 to three seconds slower, but you'll have roughly 80 more HP. It's important that with all of your camps that you don't stand still, you have more attack speed than pretty much every jungle monster and more attack range than most of them as well. It's important you try to kite them out with your Qs and your auto attacks to minimize the amount of hits you're taking from them. Against the golems, cue the big golem at an angle, but make sure it doesn't actually hit you initially, just smack it with your Qs. After you full Q cycle, drop your W on the big golem and then hit the little golem with your Q to start getting it on cooldown so you can use it again faster. Don't worry about missing out on the bonus damage on the big minion by hitting the little golem. Your Q cooldown will more than make up for it, and you should be able to kill the golem quite quickly with your full charm proc to where the big golem, at most, even without smite, will only be hitting you one time like you see here. As you're kiting out the little golems and medium golems, make sure you're hitting the full thing with your Q, and you'll be healing a lot this way off of your hunter's talisman. You'll be getting lots of HP. Even with getting no leash whatsoever here, we end our five camp clear out with having smite up, for a scuttle fight, we also end it with having pretty much close to full HP, which is really good considering we've got no leash whatsoever. With getting a leash, you'll easily have enough time to gank a lane after a 5 camp clear route, and then still get to scuttle before it spawns in, giving you a really easy chance to take it. And remember, while scuttle is charm, which lasts forever on scuttle, you can drag it to wherever you want it. So in this case, if I felt safe dragging it towards Dragon Pit or towards my bot lane that I just ganked, I can do that. After you've taken your five camps, ganked, and done Scuttle Crab, you can go in for another gank or simply just recall and start up a full six camp clear if you so choose. The second clear route I want to show you guys is one that's done out of desperation but it is very necessary to know, and that is the three camp clear route on Evelyn. You're only going to be using this thing if you need to, and that need is when you're playing at something that you can absolutely not fight, level 2, level 3, things like Graves, Lee Sin, Udyr, Zin Zhao, those type of champions who can just walk up on you and totally destroy you, level 2, level 3, you can't risk fighting them, and they oftentimes love to steal your buff. These junglers, 9 out of 10 times, will also start on their own red buff for that extra early game damage and slow. That's why with this clear out, you'll be starting on your blue when they're starting on their red. So if they go to your blue side, they're not going to get it. Or if they try to do a three camp clear invade, such as their red buff into blue gromp, like most early game junglers, such as Zin Zhao and Kindred would do and then invade you, 
they'll be too late because you're running your blue straight and your red they have absolutely no way of getting there in time after you've taken your blue and your red buff next you'll be doing your golems for level three at this point it's gonna be really hard for any jungler to kill you since you'll have all three of your abilities super fast it also sets you up in a really good position to gank twice and then do scuttle crab or to just gank once and then reset and get some items this is the ultimate counter to early game jungle champions if you are positive they're going to invade you this starts to happen a lot more once you get into platinum and diamond and up if you're in gold and bronze the odds of you getting invaded is a lot less so i wouldn't necessarily recommend this path for you just know that it is an option and it does set you up to gank super early at level three with double buffs and you'll have enough time to do two ganks into scuttle or just gank and reset the whole concept of this pathing is to not lose a single one of your buffs and to still hit level three with double buffs at a really good time. For the third Evelyn clear route, it is still usable, but by far has a lot more potential risk. And that is the full clear route. You'll be taking all six camps. Not many champions can farm as fast as Evelyn. The main ones that come to mind are Kane, Karthus, and Mundo. There are a couple of others, but in general, if you're doing it properly on her, she is one of the fastest farmers. Once again, if you take W at level two, it will slow down your clear on your first three camps by roughly two to three seconds. However, it will have you a little bit healthier. Just make sure if you're gonna take W at level two, you hit the monster with your Q and your E first, before you use your W. That way you can get your spells on a cooldown and also apply your Hunter's Talisman burn instead of just standing there and staring at it while your W starts to prop. Something you guys should also know is by starting on blue buff, your clear is actually significantly faster. Doing a three camp clear from blue side into red side is roughly eight to 12 seconds faster because of the 10% CDR on blue buff. And if you go inspiration tree, instead of going sorcery tree, your clear will be sped up by a roughly another two seconds. By the time you finish your full clear, scuttle crab will just be spawning in. So if you feel like the enemy jungler is gonna be there and you don't wanna mess with it, you can go in straight for a gank. Or if you see the enemy jungler somewhere else, you can do scuttle then gank. In general though, you can't beat many junglers on scuttle crab without lane prio unless it is a tank jungler or something that's just really bad early. So if the enemy jungler is there, if you know you can't beat them in a 1v1, don't force it. You're just going to put yourself behind. On Evelyn, the main thing is don't die and don't give up your buffs if you can manage that in your first clear out. That's usually how you end up losing the game is by forfeiting uh, your buff because you ran the wrong clear out or you didn't ward level one and that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, I hope these three Evelyn clear routes will help you. Feel free to reference this video if you want to see how exactly I cleared it or at what times I use my potions. Remember, it is important to lay your ward back at your oracles before your first camp. And some of these clear routes, I didn't do that because I was just trying to do the clear out, but you should do that every single game. If you want more in-depth information on Evelyn, whether it's level order, builds, late game play, that kind of stuff in an easy to read and manage format, I have a MOBA guide out for Evelyn. I'll put it down in the description and in the pinned comment below. I also have lots of video guides on Evelyn, how to play her and that kind of stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you out. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.